giving you guys Felicia vibes or maybe an inmate. I don't know. T to say I look like an inmate, but yes. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm going to be doing a video on how I go from curly to straight. And this video is going to be brought to you guys by Duval. Today, I'm going to be straightening my hair with this Duval straightener here. This is their professional styling iron. And I will link it below now. I filmed this video one time before. And like I would say at the end of the video, I kind of did a different process in this video. Because I didn't really like the way my hair came out last time because I was kind of in a rush and I really didn't have time to do my hair the way I wanted to. So this time, I actually took my time and it came out the exact way that I wanted it to. Um, so I had already tried out the straight iron in another video that I filmed for you guys. I just did upload it. But I did want to give you guys a few tips and tricks about this flat iron. I love it. I highly recommend it. It is the Rendevis straight iron. It is titanium plates and it is a straightener that you can curl with. On the box here that the straightener came with, you can see on the back it gives you guys different ideas of how to do your hair. And then in different ways like you can curl it you can do waves like pretty much whatever with this it did come with the glove I did not use the glove in this video only because I don't really like to use gloves when I straighten my hair because like I'm just trying to hurry up and get it over with so I don't really use gloves but if you're somebody who likes the little extra things it did come with the glove and all in all i just really really like this straightener now you do have to keep pressing the power button to change the settings so they really really get they get really really hot so you want to be very careful with them um and this is a pricier flat iron it is uh 195 dollars but but I have a 70% off coupon code in the description box below if you guys are interested in checking out the straight iron. And if you guys want to just see how I got my hair like this, check out the video. See if that's something you would be interested in. And I will link that below so you guys can check it out. But yeah, I think that is about it. I really love this flat iron. I love the way my hair is hand out. If you guys want to see how I go from this curly mess here to this bomb flat iron here then just keep watching but before we jump into the video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like these type of videos subscribe to my channel if you're new here turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every single time i upload and yeah i think that's about it so let's get into the video i just used a little revlon blow dryer from walmart nothing special um and I have my hair section into four sections. I did want to mention that when I get out of the shower, my hair is still soaking, dripping wet. I add a little bit of coconut oil. I don't use fancy coconut oil. I just use coconut oil from Dollar Tree. It's made by Butcher Boy and it's just one dollar from Dollar Tree. And I just mainly, I put it all over like in the section but I mainly focus it on the ends because my ends are really really dry and brutal so I just twist it up in the section so that's pretty much what I did so far and I just put section it off into four sections because it's easier that way to blow dry it so like I said I'm just gonna blow dry it um, I'm gonna use this brush here this is just the brush that I have from Walmart or Target I don't know it's made by the Goody brand and i'm gonna add a little bit of this heat protectant it's from silk elements and it's just gonna protect my hair from the heat
feel through to make sure you got all your roots and everything but to me now i can't speak for everybody but to me you want to make sure when you finish blow drying your hair that it's not like super poofy and that you got it like um that you got all of the roots and you got it like really straight down because um i know that sometimes i myself that's why my hair can come out really really poofy sometimes is when i half blow dry it i know my hair will come out super poofy, poofy. so um and then again you want to make sure like you get your ends and everything like super straight like how i did here because if it comes out poofy then your hair naps as i see it's gonna be poofy when you straighten out in it so i'm gonna be using the straightener from um duval i think i'm finessing that right i hope i'm finessing right right but i'm not gonna go in and add any more heat protecting because like i said i did all of that before i go in with really thin sections that way i can make sure i'm getting my hair as flat as possible because that's what i'm going for <laughs> Like I said in the beginning, I already used this straightener on my hair when I filmed this video the first time. So I know it's pretty good, but I'm just going to go ahead and I will say that I probably didn't say this in the beginning, but be very careful getting your roots because it will burn your scalp. <laughs> like It will burn your scalp, it will burn your ears, so be very careful. So guys, I am finally finished. 
took me forever to do my hair today because I actually took my time this time. I normally just rush through and if you guys have been following the vlogs or follow me on Instagram or even seen my last video, y'all see how puffy my hair was and I literally had just straightened my hair right before that video. But um like i have just been struggling trying to like get the right technique down because i mean i had it before but it just kind of felt like i don't know my hair will always come out just super super puffy so i didn't really know why so i was like okay kiwi think think how you used to do your hair what do you do different and i realized the way that i've been blow drying my hair lately has been different so i kind of slowed down the process of me blow drying my hair really taking my time with it and guys it came out so freaking cute like it literally looked like i went to the dominicans and got a blowout okay <laughs> like i love it it is so cute it is so bouncy it is so shiny and it just looks really really good like i love it and this is exactly how i wanted my hair to look when i cut it so i'm like so excited about that as well but all in all i have to pay um respect to the straightener that i use because the straight iron did get it like super super flat and super flowy and it didn't burn my hair and it just feels super super nice so i really really like this flat iron i highly recommend it um with it and again be very careful because it is titanium plates so it does have like that rounded edge to where you can curl it under as you guys can see i did kind of put a little bit of curl under because i didn't want it to stick straight down so um it is a good curling flat iron as well so i really like that about it but be very careful because because it is a curling flat iron it can like burn your scalp if you get too close to it or you'll burn your ears and stuff like that because trust me i've done it before and i literally did it in this video as well so um but all in all i really really like the flat iron i love the way my hair turned out this is my curly to straight routine i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know some tips and tricks that you guys do to get your hair super straight after you've been curly for a minute in the comment below i think that is about it i hope you guys are having an amazing day thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you're new here turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every single time i upload and yeah then it is about it i hope you guys are having an amazing day thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys